Four years after its creation, many people still aren't using a system built to help eliminate potholes and other issues. Maybe they're not familiar with Atlanta's 311 system. It's had its fair share of growing pains. Commuter Dude tested the system when it first went online, and now he explains what's changed since. What a surprise for commuters on DeKalb Avenue. For drivers who saw it coming and slowed to a bounce, the surprise did no harm. But Katie Powell wasn't so lucky when she drove up on this uncovered, unfinished road work. As soon as I got to work, I looked underneath the car and I could just see the bottom part like hanging down. Katie is among the many people who reported the problem through Atlanta's 311 system. It took two days for the city to resolve it. That's a vast improvement over the early days when 311 left me on hold 15 minutes. That was three years ago. Most calls are now answered within 20 seconds. The director of the 311 system admits there's still work to do. We still have an issue with awareness. Uh, I, I still find a lot of people don't know about 311. The system has grown in an effort to reach more people. In the beginning, there were two ways to report issues through the city's 311 system. You could dial 311 on your phone or open your computer, go to the internet, and use the city's 311 website. Now 311 has a pair of social media sites. 311 has both a Twitter account and a Facebook page. And coming later this year, you'll be able to download the 311 app where you can report problems through your smartphone.